Rich Hall is here tonight. Rich Hall is a very funny young man, very inventive, and he is one of the hosts of HBO's Not Necessarily the News. Uh, he's also a writer, and he's written a book, uh, and it's made it the bestseller list. It's called Sniglets, which is a word that you won't find in the dictionary, and that's what the book is about. Words that should be in the dictionary that aren't. Would you welcome Rich Hall? Thank you very much. It's good to be back here again. You're pretty good. Indian food today, tonight for dinner. Indian food. You have Indian food? It's expensive, isn't it? Except tonight, my waitress showed up with a red dot on her forehead, so I got 50% off my check. <laughs> I look out like that every once in a while. It's not easy being a vegetarian anymore. Except, well, I don't know, a lot of places have salad bars now. That's always a good deal, isn't it? Salad bar? Free trip to the salad bar. There's a dream vacation. <laughs> It's not even really a bar, is it? I never see anybody face down in the chickpeas there, you know. <laughs> oh, I've had five three bean salads. Maybe you better drive. <laughs> Vegetables are always violent. How come? Vegetables always have violent names. Beets. <laughs> Squash. <laughs> Black-eyed peas. <laughs> mashed potatoes. We go to a salad bar, they have bulletproof glass over the thing there. We're trying to assassinate the carrots there or something. At least with vegetables, you know where they're from, right? From the ground. Some foods, you have no idea where they're from. Ever wonder at what point in the dairy-making process the milk dud is made? <laughs> you really got to appreciate the cow who, after the butter, the eggs, and the cheese, will go that extra mile to come up with a dud. <laughs> milk dud. Terrific. Glad to see the Olympics are coming to town. There's a lot of weird sports in the Olympics that you'll never see again. They should have the common sports in the Olympics, like fishing. Fishing's a great sport, isn't it? Why don't they have that in the Olympics? <laughs> It'd be a great sport. On your mark, set, <coughs> go. Loop. <laughs> 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 Bowling. There's a wonderful sport. Bowling. Bowlers are more than athletes. Bowlers are psychic. Bowlers somehow think even after they let the ball leave their hands, they can still control it just by twisting their bodies. <laughs> <clears throat> Bola kinetics, I call that. It's one of my jobs is to make up words for things that should be in the dictionary but aren't. Sniglets, these are known as. Uh, Sniglet is any word that somehow got passed over by the dictionary. I don't know why. Like L acceleration. The mistaken notion, the more you press an elevator button, the faster it'll arrive. <laughs> Mott spur. The Mott spur is that fourth wheel in the shopping cart that never gets along with the other three. <laughs> or you can burbulate. To burbulate is to take an item off the grocery shelf, decide four or five minutes later you don't want it. So, of course, you always return it to the same spot, right? <laughs> to disguise it there, put the raid in with the ready whip there, you know. <laughs> Ho zone. This is where one sock and every laundry load disappears to. <laughs> or a Cheerio magnetization, which is the tendency of the last four or five Cheerios in the bowl to cling together for survival. <laughs> Sometimes a sniglet can be a, uh, a unit of measurement, such as the igna second, which is that overlapping moment when even as the hand is shutting the car door, the brain is going, my keys are in there! <laughs> I can do some impressions with uh, plexiglass for you now. <laughs> Stole this from the salad bar at Wendy's earlier tonight. <laughs> They call it a sneeze guard. Did you know that? Now, why? Who's going to sneeze on the salad? What do they did? Who would notice? <laughs> Unless you got this up here, then there's a whole grisly story laid out right there. <laughs> I don't know, honey. Maybe I'll just get an omelet or something. That really... <laughs> anyway, a lot of you are too young to remember vaudeville when everyone did impressions with acrylics. <laughs> The Department of Motor Vehicles. What do you mean I'm in the wrong line? <laughs> Let me see the supervisor. <laughs> Here, of course, is what they hear on the other side. <laughs> A 
man in a front load washer. Get me out of here! <laughs> Hello? What is that, a quarter? Oh. <laughs> Too much Clorox! <laughs> Hi, welcome to Ple Piedmont Flight 411. Don't worry about those other planes. They're a lot further away than they look. <laughs> Don't anybody walk. <laughs> Los Angeles during rush hour. Get that piece of junk car off the road! <laughs> oh, he's stuck behind that tourist in the Winnebago. There you come. Get that battleship off the road! I'm late for work. I live here. <laughs> what do you want? <laughs> do I look like I want oranges? <laughs> Was the celebrity version. Get that battleship off the road! Of course, we can't forget you Volkswagen drivers. Come on, move it! I'm late for work here. Move the seat back, honey. That's a little bit weird. What? Another pothole. Oh. <laughs> of course, there's the guy in the Winnebago holding up all the traffic to begin with. <laughs> Where's Knott's Berry Farm? 